What's up y'all, your girl Ducky back with another video and if you are here that means you watched part one where I showed you exactly how to complete a wash and go from start to finish and I gave you all the tips and tricks that you needed to achieve up until this point right here. If you are here that means you know that I just came from the hooded dryer and I am about to show you how to stretch, band, pick, and fluff your curls for your wash and go to be popping to be on a 10 to be on a bean scheme yeah so if you'd like to see that just stay tuned because we're about to get right into it so like i said i just came from the hooded dryer um i have my blow dryer right here y'all don't come for me the thing broke and it keep coming off and i just have yet to buy a new one so relax if you see it fall off relax here i have the attachment piece hooked to it i'm not sure what it's called but it's basically just directs the heat to be straight instead of or the air to, to flow straight instead of like out like this it flows like this directly where I need the air to flow I have my box of satin scrunchies that I will be using to band my hair I use satin scrunchies because they don't pull your hair out and they're very gentle on your curls which is a plus for me because anything that pulls my hair out I'm not using so as you can see my hair is pretty stiff right now it's pretty stiff but we're gonna bring it back to life. There is a bit of a gel cast on here, so I'm just gonna simply take my hands and run it through like this, just to break the gel cast, because the product I did use is Pillow, Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls, and I don't want these curls to be as contained because the product is Pillow Soft, it's not you know branded to completely define my curls and have minimal frizz so I'm just breaking the gel cast like so and the curls are already loosening up they're already becoming fluffy now I'm just gonna section my hair to begin stretching it and so basically what you do is section your hair however you want you could do four sections you can do eight sections you can do 12 sections I'm gonna do five sections I'm gonna do two in the back two on the sides and then one right here where my part is so I'm just gonna go ahead and section that now and I usually never um, stretch the front because it's already long and if I stretch it it's just gonna be longer my hands down the back and I'm doing this gently on my curls because I don't want to disturb the curl pattern too too much As you can see, I have my sections giving very much, I don't know what I'm giving, but it looks a mess. But I have my sections, and I'm going to um, start with this section so that you can see what I'm doing. So basically, I'm going to take my blow dryer, I'm going to set the heat to warm, and I'm going to set the airflow to high. And then, after I've stretched it completely to where I want it to be stretched, I'm going to give it a cool shot for about 15 seconds. So basically you're going to take a section down and you're going to try to get your roots as straight as possible. So you're just going to run your hands down it like this. You don't want to touch the ends of your hair because the ends of your hair is what is going to be seen. So you don't want to disturb that part. You're just going to drag all the way down here and you're going to hold it. You're going to take your blow dryer. You're going to go like this on the section that you're stretching out. Do it all the way around until it's stretched. So as you can see this section is stretched out and now I'm going to take this scrunchie again. Oh no my back scrunchie fell out. I'm going to take this scrunchie and band my hair at the root. So basically I'm just putting the scrunchie around. Basically putting it in a ponytail. Like that. Then you want to get another one and band it a little closer towards the ends of your hair. And this part right here is called banding okay 
and I never stretch the top of my hair because the top of my hair is what is seen and when you stretch your hair you do kind of bring more frizz and less curl and less definition to your curl pattern so I want the top to be defined and curly so I never stretch the top of my hair I always just pick and puff it now I'm gonna do this section so you guys can see one more time I'm gonna smooth it out not disturbing the end pieces like that to your blow dryer And I'm finding that with this product, I don't have to stretch it a lot because it's already a naturally fluffing product. Like it already makes your hair fluffy. So I don't have to do too much. And I usually do the back first, but like I said, I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Okay you guys, so I've completely um, stretched and banded all of my hair. Like I said, I don't stretch the top or the middle section of my hair because that's the part that's going to be seen the most. And my bangs are already long enough and I don't even make them any longer. I'm going to let these sit in for about 10 to 15 minutes. If you want, you can actually fall asleep like this. You would just put your hair up in a, in a bonnet or a pineapple like this, put it in a scarf and go to sleep. Wake up in the morning and bam a baddie but I'm going to just leave it like this for about 10 to 15 minutes okay y'all so it's probably been about 30 minutes and I'm just gonna take the bands down and then show you guys what it's looking like Okay, so this is what it's looking like fresh out of the banding. I have not picked it. I have not fluffed it. None of that. Very defined, very fluffy, very soft. Okay, so I have my pick. I use a plastic pick because you get more volume, but with plastic picks you do get more frizz. But I'm okay with that because I like big hair. So basically, um, you're going to look and see where you feel like your hair can be lifted. And that's where you're going to pick. And you're going to pick at the roots. You're not going to pull the pick all the way out. Otherwise, you will cause unnecessary frizz. And you will cause your curls that you work so hard to define not to be defined anymore. So I'm going to start with picking this section right here. I'm going to flip my head upside down like this. And just pick at the root and pull up pick at the root pull up just like this and I feel like I've done something I pick my head up shake it out and then see what it's looking like okay so I did lift up the back now I'm going to pick here you see I'm just putting it in and pulling it up that's all, I'm not doing anything extra to cause unnecessary frizz. I'm gonna pick over here. Pick under just a little bit. Just like that. And that is pretty much the picking process. Honestly, my rule of thumb with picking is pick until you like it. That's my rule of thumb. Pick until you like it. If you don't like the way it looks, keep picking. If it's big enough for you, stop picking but pick until you like it. I don't really like for you to be able to see much of my scalp when I have a wash and go. 
so I always pick the middle of my head that way you don't see like that circle where all the hair falls out I mean not falls out but like falls down word but that is pretty much it for your wash and go you guys you're going to follow these steps and you will have a popping wash and go I really hope y'all understood and understand exactly what I meant by each detail and by each explanation if you have more questions you can DM me or leave it in the comment section it really doesn't matter whichever you're most comfortable with oh and feel free to do your edges at this point as well I don't really do my edges when I have a fro because I just don't be feeling like it but yeah that's it I really hope you guys enjoyed this detailed two-part situation of how to get the perfect wash and go for your hair you know what I'm saying it all depends on the products you use and the patience that you have and are willing to put into your curls coming out the way that you would like for them to come out if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment and subscribe and turn on your notification bell we hit 1k y'all we hit 1k y'all we hit 1k y'all yeah it's giving and I'm about to do a get 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 giveaway so to enter into this giveaway you're going to want to make sure that if you don't do those three things you're not gonna know how to enter and it's gonna suck because you're gonna miss the opportunity to be blessed that's pretty much it um bye